Hello, I'm Will. Welcome to the Tesla Jigsaw. In an effort to be useful, I've scoured the UK market for used electric cars, but rather than keeping this information to myself, I thought I'd share it with you. From two and a half to ten thousand pounds, my top ten cheap EVs trumps anybody else's because mine goes to eleven. Let's get into it. Oh, and it's worth noting, all these electric cars are available right now on autotrader.co.uk and I've not included any cars with over 100,000 miles on the clock and these real world ranges that I've included are just that. I expect them to be the very minimum range you'd get even during the winter months. First up then, the Renault Zoe. For just £2,500, this does seem to be the bargain of the century. However, beware that some Zoe's batteries are leased at £50 per month. Yeah, a bit annoying. And I believe that this is the only EV that offered leased batteries, so you don't need to worry about that as we go through the list. Higher priced Zoe's are available that include the battery. Prices for those are currently around £5,500. Here's the bad news though. This is the third car in history to be zero rated by Euro NCAP. But only after the 2020 update of the Zoe, which actually included a downgrade of the safety kit. Can you believe it? I guess Renault were just hoping you wouldn't find out. But there it is. All models before 2020 are at least to reasonable safety standards. And if you were wondering which cars were also zero rated, it was the Fiat Punto and the Rover 100, which were quite deservedly killed off by bad publicity. Right, next up it's the Mitsubishi iMeve. This runs on just four AA batteries, which you just remove and charge in a Uniros charger. No, just kidding. It's got a 16 kilowatt battery pack and does around about 50 miles as well, just like the Zoe. Get this, initially this thing cost £38,699 and I'm not kidding. That was the actual price. So at two and a half grand, this thing will pay for itself in savings in about a year of ownership. Okay, next up we've got the Nissan Leaf. 60% of the plastic on a Leaf's interior is already recycled material. Much of it comes from used water bottles, and at the end of the Leaf's lifespan, 99% of the £3,500 vehicle weight is recyclable and can be transformed back into water bottles or other leaves. How amazing! And if you don't think that cars do get recycled at the end of their life, check out Johnny Smith's YouTube channel, The Late Break Show, and he's got an episode called The Future of Vehicle Recycling, and it's fascinating to watch if you like that sort of thing. Just ripping out electric car batteries, recycling them, selling the components, it's really great to watch. Not that I should really be recommending someone else's YouTube channel, stay here for a bit. The Kumi Model 1 Plus. I genuinely don't know if this is a car or a mobility scooter, but it's on Auto Trader, so possibly a car. Um, it's got a reversing camera and electric windows and a possible range of 30 miles. I mean, hats off to you if you're going to be seen driving around in this thing. That's some serious commitment to an EV. Oh, would you do me a little favour and hit the like button? It will help YouTube know to spread this video around. Thank you so much. Smart for two. As the name suggests, this is just a two-seater. But with style like this, why wouldn't you go for the cabrio version and show the world that you just don't care what they think? and you can still expect around 50 miles of range, and is yours for just £4,700. Not bad. Okay, next we've got the Volkswagen E-Up. This is over double the price of the Leaf, but it's still a pretty decent car. You've got a bit of Volkswagen quality going on, and a range boost of, ooh, we're into the 60 mile territory now. You can expect to get one of these at about £6,500. Okay, next we've got the BMW i3. This was absolutely revolutionary when it came out. A total from the ground up build of an electric car. Carbon fibre shell. It's really spacious inside. It's got a tall ride height. It's absolutely awesome. This is my first experience of driving an electric car and I still remember it very fondly. Okay, maybe on the range side you're going to get somewhere between 60 and 80 miles real world range. But these little versions also came with what's called a range extender, which is a little motor in the back which acts as a generator. So you fill it with petrol and it generates electricity for the battery. Bit strange, and some might say that's an engine. So the plan was that you'd be able to drive on your electric miles and then the motor would kick in and help you carry on your journey if you were to need it. My opinion is you don't really need that nowadays, you just need to plan your journeys a bit better with the range you've got. Although discontinued, the i3 was available with three different battery sizes throughout the years as it upgraded. So, you know, do bear in mind, check the battery sizes. They measure them in amp hours, the only car manufacturer to measure the batteries that way. Uh, everyone else does it by the kilowatt hour. So this i3 has a 22 kilowatt battery, but BMW call it the 60 amp hour version. And yours for just £8,000. Okay, now we're on to the Mercedes B250e. 
What a wasted opportunity from Mercedes. They should have been coming out the gates with an amazing electric car, but instead they made this. Um, it's their only EV with no fast charging capabilities. You can only charge it at five kilowatt hours. So that's just like a wall charger at home that you'd plug in and it would take about five hours to charge overnight. Not very good if you want to take a journey anywhere and charge up. But there you go, a perfectly good driving car, but the charging speed really lets this one down. Yours for just under £9,000. A 100 mile real world range for £9,200, the Hyundai Ioniq and the boot space is segment leading too and will satisfy the needs of most drivers on a daily basis. It's no frills but it does the job and coming in at £9,500 there's plenty of BMW i3s but this one's got a step up in battery size so you can expect something like 120 miles real world range. Again, an amazing little car. I'd highly recommend that you just go out and test drive one because they're such good fun to drive. If I had a £10,000 budget for a car and didn't need to commute more than 100 miles every day, this 33 kilowatt hour battery pack, or 94 amp hours as BMW strangely call it, would be my choice. Let me know in the comments below if you've got one of these cars or you drive it, what do you think of them? I'd love to get a bit of feedback. And in the next video, we move up in the world of EVs to more range, more choice and supposedly even more style as I look at used electric cars from 10 to £20,000. I want to also thank my amazing patrons for supporting my little channel. These folks right here just joined. You can join them too for a few extra perks and just to show what a wonderful human being you are by supporting little channels like this grow. It absolutely means the world to me. So thank you so much. Find my Patreon link in the description below. I'm Will. This is the Tesla Jigsaw. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.